my diamond monsters welcome back if you haven't already then please do press the big red subscribe button come and join the diamond monsterhood we'd love to have you on board now for today's video <coughs> girls and boys take your seat back relax and put your feet up because it's going to be crazy so we all have heard of the james charles palette am i wrong if you haven't you need to look at it james charles um pronto because this palette is amazing it's good it's sleek and it's cool so basically i'm going to take up the google pics my eyeshadow challenge Whew. so this challenge is inspired by nikki tutorials if you're watching girl hi how are you if you're not then what the hell hello but basically as you know there's 39 shades in the james charles palette we're going to ask google to pick a number from 1 to 39 and whichever numbers she picks i have to create an eyeshadow look with it so <laughs> With further ado, okay, so if you guys haven't already then come known with the X Morphe James Charles palette, it is right here, guys. This palette has 39 shades in it, so we're gonna ask Google to pick two numbers between 1 and 39. I'm really, really scared because Google, you have no taste in makeup whatsoever, and I'm praying that you can help me. Okay, Google, pick a number between 1 and 39. Here's a random number, 6. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, she picked a shimmer. Well done, yes. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and 39. Eight. <gasps> yes, we have two browns. Yes, Google, you're amazing. Okay, now we need to ask Google to pick a number between one and 10 because this is a pressed glitter, this is not a pressed glitter pa palette. I cannot speak today, guys. This palette here is a model's own glitter mix palette. So we're gonna ask Google to pick a number between one and 10. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and 10. Eight. She's gone with that color. She's gone with the silvery here, which could work, which could absolutely work. So we're gonna jump in to this so how this is going to work because we're not actually doing another eye and another challenge we're going to stick to the same colors we are going to just do one eye on camera and then do the other eye off camera so we're diving in with the x morphe james charles palette and we're going in with this color here guys this nice nap like neutral brown which i think is really cute thank you google for picking such a cute color for me yes you go girls we're going to just chuck some palettes on the floor because why not and then we're just going to start by applying that to our eyes, just like so. I am really, really nervous because this could go right. And then this could go wrong. This is very, very brown. I'm not going to lie. So we might, may have to just spread it out a little bit than usual, which is fine because we can do that. We, we've done this before. So we're blending it in on the crease here, guys, nicely. Blending it out on this one here too, nicely. This more looks like a gray instead of a brown and I'm really, really scared. So we're gonna dive back into that same color, guys. This is like an earthy brown and I don't, I don't really like it, but I kind of do. Does that make sense? but at the same time we have another color to be adding so we are then just going to mix them colors together nicely just like so blend them out on there nicely I'm going to add some brown into the inner corner of my eye because it's cute and why not? Proper blending that brown out nice and evenly, just like so. There we go. And that is the brown eye, dusty kind of brown eye done. Google, what are you doing to me, girl? Okay, and then we're gonna take another blender brush and we're gonna dive in with the second color she picked, which was, if you correct me if I'm wrong, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, I think it was six. We're going to go in with six. I can't remember. I'm really terrible at remembering stuff, guys. 
and then of course we're going to grab my mirror again in the, this palette you guys have seen before and then of course we're then just going to blend that shimmer in nicely with the rest of the brown trying to get the whole type brown sort of that shimmery color because there's not really much else you can do with a shimmer so we're just trying to give it like all shimmery and everything which i think is really really cute i'm not going to lie so once that is on you are then just going to grab another clean blending brush yes that's right clean fine fine clean blending brush this is quite a big blending brush i ain't gonna lie and then we're gonna blend that out ever so nicely just like so because we want it kind of like a nice little blend instead of a horrible blend we want it more like natural than anything and then we're going to go in with our second palette that google picked and we're going to go in with the number eight that she picked so this is one that i'm going to have to pack on and this is like a black kind of silvery one so god knows how this would work but we're going to see how it's going to turn out so we're just going to pack that on the corner of the eye and because this is like a gel, we won't really need, I don't really feel the need to like conceal or anything because let's be real, it's like a gel, so. And once that is on, Okay, that is applying really nicely. Right, and then we are then just gonna keep packing that on, basically until it's all nice and lovely packed, just like so. Because no point in doing a job if you ain't going to do it properly. Am I right? There we go. And there is the eye there. And then we are then just going to get a quick brush and just brush away that glitter. That's if it brushes away. Hi, how are you? Because it's like a gel. And at the same time, we're of course just going to blend out that little bit with the big brush too. Just like so. There we go. And now I'm really, really, really nervous. So I'm going to ask Google to pick another number between one and 39 because i feel like we need a little bit of a brown so i'm praying google picks like a brown in color here okay google pick a number between one and 39. six one two three four five six okay she has picked like a nice little orangey sort of color let me show you she's kind of picked that that sort of color there which we can kind of mix lovely into the crease lovely just like so, this could go wrong so quickly. There we go. And then we're then just gonna take the blending brush again and blend that out nicely. Okay, Google, you know you work. Packing them. I'd nice. like to help, but I don't know about that. Okay. That just get the bloody crap out of me. What the hell? Not even funny. I'm going to have to sue you now. And then we're going to, of course, now we've done this eye, we're going to go off camera and very quickly do the other eye. Okay, so now we have done the eyeshadow. I'm not going to lie. This is not one of my best works whatsoever. This is just turned out completely wrong but still it's a challenge. So now we're gonna ask Google to pick my foundation. I'm really, really scared because Google is picking everything of mine today and I don't like it. So we have the Unique Touch Foundation in Organza. This is my mum's brand. So if Google picks number one, hi, YouTube review. And then of course we have my all time favorite CYO foundation that you know I all die and live for. So we're gonna ask Google right now, on what number she thinks I should use and which foundation. So, would it be my mum's brand or not? Let's find out. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and two. Two. Yes! Thank goodness. Thank you, Google. You're doing something right here. 
So of course I kind of came prepared for number two already guys. So I kind of put my foundation in the pot nicely because I don't know why I just kind of did and I'm scared. So, okay, I can't find, there it is. So you guys know how all this works. So of course just get in the foundation and you know how to apply foundation. If you don't, then wow, hi, how are you? So applying foundation all over the face cover that up for sure and that hi bad agony how are you and then of course the forehead too now of course the nose is a little bit swollen and i'm a little bit concerned so we ain't gonna put any i any um what's it called stuff foundation on my nose area so we're gonna leave that out now i actually need a mirror for this i can't actually just use the monitor for this so we're just going to dive in with the mirror here i'm really really scared there we go of course this is so not my shade i can't exactly go out shopping at the moment and get my shade so yeah this is working out just fine. Hi, 2020. How are you? So let me know down below in the comments how everyone's hibernation sort of thing is going, like lockdown. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how your family's doing. And let me know if you're liking it or if you're hating it. Because I know some people are like proper indoor people and they like staying in and just playing games. That is so not me. I'm one of those who like going out. So let me know how it kind of works for you. Let me know if you like it or not. I will tell you guys for now, I'm definitely not liking it whatsoever. I'm hating every single bit of it because this boy loves going out. He loves staying at friends. He likes traveling. As you guys know, I traveled yesterday to go and meet someone. So I'm happy about that. Um, that's someone if you're watching. Hi, how are you? Um, if you're not, then think god for that because we don't want you seeing this date of a video so yes and there we go now that is the oh okay that eyeshadow is not that bad with foundation on i'm not gonna lie but it could definitely do with some improvement no that's for sure okay so we're just avoiding my nose piercing again guys so we're just applying a little bit to the nose the other side of the nose so again we will have a little red area there that's very red i ain't gonna lie hi nose piercing how are you avoiding that area as much as possible because we really don't want any infections whatsoever although it's quite red and irritated around that area too so and if it doesn't get better within a day, then we're kissing goodbye to it because I can't be playing with this stuff. So all we are now doing is just taking another blue soft beauty blender that is not damp, just like my other beauty blender that was not damp neither, which it really should be. I'm terrible at damping them, I ain't gonna lie. And we are then just dabbing all over the face one more time just to get that nice flawless finish look. Hi. How are you? So when this is all done, just like so guys, there we go. Oh, okay. Talking about cute. I don't know about you, but it looks cute in a monitor. However, the monitor is quite far away from me, so I can't exactly see right up. So we're just working on blending that all in my neck nicely, mainly. There we go. I look like a bad bitch. Hi, 2020. How are you? Okay, so now that is done, of course, we're going to ask Google to pick the colour of my bronzer. So again, you all saw this in my last YouTube video. If you haven't already, then go ahead and have a look. This is my bronzer slash glaze palette, as Model Own call it. So we have two colours here we're going to ask Google to pick. And for once, I can actually see them. So we're going to ask Google to pick a number between one and two. Google's picking everything today, girl. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and two. Here's a random number, one. Oh my God, she's gone with a really dark one. So we ain't gonna go in with my normal bronzer brush. We're gonna go in with a really puffed out bronzer brush here. And then we're just gonna 
<laughs> and we're just going to bronze for the guard. That nose looks so bad, it's unreal. There we go, and then. Google, what are you doing to me, girl? This is not fun whatsoever. This is a, this is probably one of the most trickish challenges I have ever had because Google, you just pick the most random numbers and yeah, I don't like it. We're also messing up my hair here. So of course we're gonna get my cheeks nice and popped. Hi, how are you? Oh shoot, I've got to do setting powder. Oh well, we'll set the face in a second. So, yeah. We'll do bronzer first and set the face. It doesn't really matter, it kind of, well, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't really matter when you choose to set your face. But, we'll definitely set your face before you do your bronzer. That is all I am saying on that because we don't want it looking bad. So we are then just gonna bronzer the nose a little bit. The non, piercing side of my nose so don't stress at me guys hi how are you that looks terrible that side of my nose we need to fix that then we're going to cause bronze at the jawline and bring that jawline out and a half just like so there we go and then of course just just to be on the safe side we're going to get my even bigger fluffy brush and we're going to brush out that bronzer and really blend that in because that is quite a dark bronzer i'm not gonna lie especially on the nose hi how are you nose job okay google you ain't got bad taste it looks quite good in the monitor i ain't gonna lie but google you need sorry i can't help with that yet i didn't say the magic word why are you replying my Google is quite rude, I'm not going to lie. I'm looking at it in now and I'm here like, mm, are you gonna are you gonna speak? Are you gonna talk? Okay, so now we're gonna ask Google to pick our setting powders. So of course we have the Love Revolution Peach setting powder. You know I all die for this setting powder, and then I need to get the other setting powder. Oh, I'm so unorganized. <gasps> One second. I'm so unorganized. And again we have Ow. And then again, we have the Revolution Makeup Translucent Setting Powder. So this one, basically, there's not really that much difference. They're both set, but there's a, it's just that this one is peach and this one is translucent. This one has a little bit more color to it. This one doesn't. So we're going to ask Google to pick a number between one and two. Let's go. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and two. Here's a random number, two. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy. Google, I, oh, oh, oh. No, we're doing it wrong, we're doing it wrong. We need to conceal underneath. Why did I bronze? Oh my god. Ruined it, oh my god. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and two. Here's a random number, one. Okay, so we are going to go in with our e.l.f. concealer, guys. This is in Fair Rose. So we're just going to go ahead and just pretty much grab my bronzer palette. That makes me look quite bronzed, I ain't going to lie. And then we're going to add the most littlest amount underneath the eye because we have bronzed as well. And we don't want to ruin that up a little bit. So we're going to just add the littlest amount. Even more of a tinier amount on this side here because of the nose. And then some here, some here. And that's all we are going to do because I need to avoid my notes, guys. And then we're then just going to blend that out with the blue beauty blender that is not damp because the non-damp beauty blender is soft and it really is kind of looking cute at the moment. Let's look, I ain't going to lie. There we go. Let's just keep dabbing that out nicely. work we look quite um 
pale at the moment. So doing everything in my power I am to avoid my nose because I really can't be dealing with an affected nose, especially on lockdown, because there's nowhere to get stuff to um you know help it out a bit. It has got a cubicle on it. What is it a cubicle? What? What's the thing on my nose called? The spot? A keloid. A cubicle is for a fucking toilet, Levi. <laughs> oh. Well, it's a keloid on my nose. We have got a keloid there. Um we have treatment, we have tea tree oil and yeah we're just gonna we're gonna stick to that and now we are gonna go in with the peach setting powder that google chose a minute ago <sighs> so satisfying and then of course we're just going to peach my face and make it all set because we don't want to mess this up but i kind of get the feeling it's already messed up do you, do you guys get what i mean do you pretty sure you guys get the gist okay i ain't gonna lie this is turning out quite cute Hi, how are you? And then of course, because setting powder gets everywhere and that was a lot of setting powder, I am not going to lie to you. We're then just gonna grab a big fluffy brush and we're then just gonna brush our face. I haven't used this brush in ages actually. We're then just gonna brush our face in circular motions and get rid of some of that setting powder that is on my face, so just like so. There we go. So that is that done. So now Google hasn't really got a choice for lashes. I personally have chosen my lashes because I'm very sensitive with them and we like good lashes. So I'm gonna pop these lashes on and I'll be back. Okay, so the lashes are on. I'm not going to lie. I need to grab a mirror here, girls and boys. I am not going to lie. This, quite cute. Google, you did a good job. Don't fuck it up now, Google. So I'm giving Google two choices to pick a lipstick. So we have a nude, and at the same time, we have a matte me in like a nice pinky sort of color, which you saw in my last YouTube video. So we're gonna ask Google, guys, to pick number one or number two. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and two. Here's a random number, one. He, she has chosen, Oh, Google, you know your colors, girl. You're going for the brown. We're going for the full on browns today. What is wrong with you? Whew. I'm proud of this. So now we're just gonna add our lipsticks on. Hmm. Okay, so that is now the lipstick on and done and dusted. So now, we're going to give Google an option to pick my highlighter. Now, I'm scared because we're going to use the same highlighting palette that we used in the other um, YouTube video. Um, what was it? LED makeup challenge. So we're going to use the same highlighter. So we're going to ask Google to pick a number between one and three. So we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, Google, pick a number between one and three. Here's a random number, one. Ooh, she's gone for the gold. Google, I love you. Okay, so this has a lot of fallout, I'm not going to lie. So we are then just gonna dab that and we're gonna apply the highlighter to the nose. Ooh, I'm actually feeling really, 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 really cute. I'm not going to lie. Okay, Google, you've done a pretty good job. I'm picking stuff, okay. It's awesome being able to help. That's what Google thinks. Okay, and then of course we are then just gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, that pops. I'm actually in love with this highlight, it's unreal. Such a good investment in buying these. I'm not going to lie. Then, of course, we're going to just add a highlighter to our brow bones and then just give it that little. We're also going to pop the highlighter, guys, on top of the brow bones too, just because we want that little effect, which I'm kind of living for at the moment. I'm not going to lie. 
and that is today's video complete where google picked my makeup i'm really not going to lie i'm not liking it but i'm not hating it it's bearable but it's not that bearable do you guys get what i mean the jawline is popping i'm loving the jawline the eyeshadow i would never pick these colors ever in my life but google knows what she's doing she's she's a she's a she's aware of the good colors of the bad colors and the setting powder girl you always go with the best setting powder okay so i think it's time we actually say thank you to google so okay google thank you for your help and support and i will see you soon you're certainly very welcome indeed bye take care Google is amazing, guys. Right, that is this challenge complete. I am shook. The fact that I did this. So wow. Like, hi, how are you? And I'm really shook that the numbers of Google has picked. I'm like, whoa, hello, we need to fix that. So I'm actually really, really, really happy. It couldn't have gone better. So guys, that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I need to go and get a drink because this boy is thirsty as hell. So guys, let's just quickly run through the usual, you know, what's about to come. So if you haven't already, then go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's up here. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow my Snapchat too. That's also up there. And as well, guys, don't forget to press the big red subscribe button. Come and join the Diamond Monsterhood. We'll love to have you on board. And don't forget to like and share as well, guys. We'll all love them likes and shares too. Okay, guys, I'm nervous, scared, and it's just shooking me up. The fact that this has turned out good. Challenges are going right for me, and I don't know why. Okay. Um, new YouTube video will be coming a lot more recently due to me being locked into my house because of the coronavirus. So more YouTube videos will be coming because it's something for me to do. It's fun. It's playing with makeup and it's really, 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 really exciting and I cannot wait. So with further ado, guys, I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.